What is going on guys and welcome back to another A Ball Pool video. So today's video is going to be a special video because we're going to be doing a rundown of my top 10 tips and tricks in A Ball Pool. So this video is going to aim to help you improve your game and this is just a few little things that I do that helps me boost my win percentage slightly guys because there's lots of people out there who are not optimising the game to its fullest potential. So hopefully this list can help you out a bit guys. So the first thing I'm going to say guys is when you see one of your balls blocked off Free it immediately. You don't know if you'll have another chance, so it's pretty important to free those balls immediately. So imagine you've just got to the table, your opponent's had the break off and they haven't managed to pot a ball and all the balls are spread across the table. You need to analyse what is on the table. Say you opt to go for stripes or you opt to go for solids and you see that there is a few of your balls blocked off try and make a cannon onto those balls as soon as you can. You might not get another good opportunity in the break to optimise that situation guys. So it's really important to free blocked off balls as soon as you can. So another thing that is worth a mention guys is that a lot of people, it's happened to me and I have to say I'm guilty of doing this a few times in the past as well guys and that is when you're losing a match and someone is doing a denial against you, you just try and leave the match as soon as they get onto the black or as soon as they get onto the last ball. But I will say one thing guys, I have seen so many people miss the black ball so stay until the end of the match because you never know and even if only 1 out of 10 matches you end up managing to win it, that is going to put your win percentage up by 10% isn't it guys for every 10 matches so I think it is worth it to do it. You never know, people might disconnect, their phone might run out of battery, anything could happen to your opponent, they might miss the ball, you don't know what they're doing in their personal life, you don't know where they are playing the game, they might be distracted, they might not be giving it their full attention guys, so I would say stay until the last ball has been potted because you never know what can happen. So another tip I will give you guys, and it's something that I always try and do, is go for the difficult shots early. So if there's a really, really tricky shot and you're not a bad cueist in the game, I would say go for these tricky shots as soon as you possibly can because going for them takes a bit of pressure off yourself and if you can get those tricky shots, it leaves it all nice and easy for you and it also enables you to be able to control the white ball better because you haven't got any tricky shots to do, guys. So I would say go for the most difficult shots as soon as you possibly can. So one of my biggest tips to you guys is going to be to plan in advance what you're going to do for your whole break. Now this might sound quite extreme, but trust me guys, it is really worth it if you can train your brain to play a ball pool in this way. So when you get to the table, you need to analyse all of the balls that you're going to go for and try and pick an order in your head of how you're going to take them. In doing this guys, it's going to make your positional shots a lot easier because you have a clear aim with what you're going to do. You're not just hitting the balls randomly around the table, you have a clear aim with where you are aiming to put the white ball. So it will help improve your positional play and it will also help improve your break building. So it's really, really worth trying to pick a route around the table guys. It doesn't have to be, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balls like that. It can just be, I'm going to put the white in an area to get one of these two balls. So you just need to make a rough plan of how you're going to go about building the break. This will help you get more denials on eight ball pool and win more matches. So one of my tips that I will give you is that if you are struggling with positional play, practice hitting the shots as lightly as you can get away with. So you just need to look at your power bar and just see how far down the power bar you can hit a ball down the length of the table and the ball still go in the pocket guys because the white ball will be moving around less and that will leave you on in a better position because if you're trying to play cannons all over the table, you're hitting it with maximum power all around the table, there's always a big chance that the white will get blocked off and you will be not be able to see your next shot. So I would say hit shots as lightly as you can and you'll, you'll be surprised at how you can get a, a really easy denial just by tapping all the balls in and it's also quite frustrating for your opponent as well because they're just seeing you slowly go around your break so it can be quite a good tactic. So another thing that is worth to mention is that a lot of people just rush their shots, they get straight to the table and, uh, and they just take their shot without thinking about the implications of what they're doing. Now you have a timer guys, you are allowed to use that allotted time that you have for your shot. So I would say to a lot of new players, take your time and fully analyse the implications of the shot you are going to take because there's always implications, there's going to be implications on your positional play on whether you can actually finish a break and uh, you might see there's a cannon you can make to free up a ball that is not available at the moment and that could be a match winning shot. So there's lots of things you can do by taking your time and fully analysing the situation. One of the biggest things that I think you guys should do if you are a new player and you don't have too many coins in 8-Ball Pool 
is to not gamble what you can't afford, guys. Now, you guys will know that I harp on about this all the time, and I have a Road to 100 Million series based on this whole principle of not gambling what you can't afford, and I've also done a strategy guide on how to build up coins in 8-Ball Pool. Well, this is what I'm going to say to you guys. I've had so many people saying, I have 50,000 coins now, I'm going to go into Jakarta, and then they lose it all, and then they have no coins, and they have to start again, and it can take them days or even weeks to get back up to that amount of coins. So I really, I really advise you guys that if you've built up a load of coins, make the most of what you built up, and don't just throw them all away. Keep your coins and gamble them slowly, and don't go into matches until you have four or five times the coins you needed, guys. I'm not going to talk too much about this because there is some other videos on my channel on this subject. Now this next tip is not advisable for all players and I would only recommend doing this in some of the lower match rooms like London or Sydney. So what I'm going to say here is play as many bank shots, combination shots and extreme spin shots as you possibly can. So if you have a lot of coins, go into a low match room and just play for a few hours there and play as many bank shots and you'll be surprised at how much better you will get at these tricky shots by forcing yourself to play them. Speaking from personal experience, I never used to play these kind of shots and uh, since a few months ago, since I started playing with subscribers, after uploading each video, I started just playing trick shots and just sort of messing around every single day. And by playing like that every day, I have improved at bank shots by 50 times, I would say. I am so much better at combination shots, bank shots, and it's even made me better at the use of spin, guys. So another thing that I recommend you guys do is to analyse what you're good at and what you're not good at. So whatever it may be, everybody has weaknesses in the game. I really recommend going into the practice table or into a lower match room and practising what you're not good at because that is the only way you are going to be able to improve at the game. And the final tip that I will give you guys is try to use the same cue for as long as possible. It's quite difficult if you're always changing up your queue, you're never going to get used to the stats of the queue and you're going to struggle with positional shots and spin shots. If you have the same queue with the same stats for a really long period of time, you'll really get to know the queue and you'll get to know the stats of the queue and it will really help your game guys because you'll be able to trust the shot that you're going to play. You'll know what will happen if you put on full screw back and half power. You'll know exactly where the white ball will be and it can make you play much more accurate shots in 8-ball pool guys. So that has been my top 10 tips and tricks in 8-Ball Pool, guys. If this video helped you, please go and smash that like button. It really helps me out. It can help this video grow and help more players out there who are struggling in 8-Ball Pool. Now, obviously, some of you, all these tips are going to be old news and you probably do all this stuff. But there's a lot of you that don't do this stuff. And there's some people out there that are really clueless with the game and really need a little bit of help. So if you have some tips that I have not mentioned in this video, please go and drop them in the comments section and try and help out the community guys because not everybody is at the same level and some players are still new to the game. Well thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for more 8 Ball Pool videos.